Hi guys, it's Baldrick here. In today's episode, I'd like to talk to you about whether I think Titanfall will be a massive series like Call of Duty or Battlefield, or it'll just be a one-off game. And I think the answer is obviously, it'll be a decently big series, because they're just not going to work so hard on one game and just let it go. Like, maybe Insurgency, because that's not much of a big game, that might just be a one-off game, but... Hopefully not, I hope they're making Insurgency too, but for this sense, tons of people know about Titanfall, and basically all the COD players have heard of it at least, or not all of them, but most of the people are keeping up to date with the latest games and of Titanfall for sure, and I think if, yeah, I think if EA and Respawn Entertainment really want to kick off their new franchise, they, they need to put a lot of effort into the first game, and that's exactly what they've done. If it was going to be a stand standalone game, like just one of them, I think it wouldn't really be as popular as it is, as they wouldn't, EA wouldn't really give a shit about them. EA obviously wants some long-term investments with Titanfall, and they'd be sort of stupid to miss uh, so much into this if it wasn't Good. Same with Microsoft, how they made it exclusive to the Xbox One. They wouldn't do that if it was just a shit game. Uh, that's definite. Like Halo, I, I don't particularly like Halo because I haven't really played it much. But I'm sure that's a decent game as well. But I just don't have opportunity to play it, even on my PC. So I think uh, Microsoft definitely knows what they're doing. Even though Microsoft ha has done many stupid things in the past with their gaming franchises, it... They definitely know what they're doing now, because they're not too stupid. Anyway, uh, also, I think this game has potential for a second part, as we don't even know the campaign yet. I'm, j I'm just getting this gameplay from the beta. It's not, the beta's over right now, obviously, but I think if their campaign ends on a, like, Mon Warfare 2 does, where it can continue or it can sort of stop, I think that would be a great way to do it. And I'm pretty sure Titanfall would definitely have a campaign. We're just not going to make a game like Titanfall and not put a decent campaign into it. I hope it's a good campaign, but you'd, you'd hope it's a good campaign, or you'd hope it's got a campaign at all. I'm not really informed on this too much, guys. Uh, apart from that, I think that's about it for this Titanfall video. Uh, I think they'll do some patches for some of the overpowered weapons, such as the smart pistol, which I was using. It's not too overpowered, it's a bit overpowered, so to say, but I think if they lower the range a bit, I think that would be a decent patch, because that close range, I think it should be able to do that, because with a carbine, you can easily gun down people that easily. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, I really appreciate it that you've stayed and watched this far. Remember to have a nice day and get Titanfall or pre-order it, because it looks like an excellent game guys. See you later.